Hello, Mark Alaric here, President of Sales Overlays. Today's Eye on Opportunity for Marketers focuses on who I call the forgotten affluent. Although ignored by many industries, here's a market that can grow many companies' bottom line, both in the short and long term. But perhaps you're thinking, I'm already connecting with this market within our various campaigns, but I propose that this market is really quite different than what you might think. You will have to gain a deeper understanding of who they really are and what they really want from you. You see, the affluence are really more than one market. And to be successful, you're going to need to understand how to identify relevant services and create relevant marketing that will connect with each segment. Who is the forgotten affluent? They're also called the mass affluence. And we call them forgotten because most financials and other companies don't consider them wealthy enough for special attention. But this mega market represents well over $1 trillion in economic power. They are the executives, they're the managers, they're the business owners, and they're underserved by most banks because they're not in that true height net worth category, even though their net worth is between a quarter million dollars and $3 million. So many other industries also underestimate their spending power. Here's a massive market looking for opportunities to invest and get involved. Great earning power? Absolutely. Big spenders? For sure. They're looking for new ways to put their financial power and clout to work. Just look at this list and you'll see opportunities to connect with this market in unique and especially meaningful ways. So if we talk about the banking, investment, and insurance products, only three out of the 10 mass affluent customers have purchased these products from their primary bank. So we could hardly call these average customers because on the average, they have almost $350,000 in investable assets. They also carry larger balances on their checking account as well. And the affluents are getting attention. In 2012, some U.S. banks are now ranking pursuing the mass affluence among their top strategies. And just who are these markets? The majority is made up of women, 45 plus age markets, and small business owners. You literally could spend all your resources marketing to women and you'll get the lion's share of the U.S. wealth. The U.S. women's markets are larger than the entire economy of Japan. The fact is women now live everybody and inherit everything. They are the CFO in over 85% of the households. However, women are much less confident than men when it comes to their retirement savings. Their point is not about ignoring men because you won't be if you're servicing the women's needs correctly. You literally could make serving women your primary reason for being in business and you will enjoy enormous growth. And there's more untapped opportunity. Small businesses have on the average of seven to nine banking accounts and they're not all with one bank. And small business owners are a hybrid of commercial and consumer account holders. And don't forget, access to this market includes access to their employees, especially the highly paid ones. Untapped times two, women are starting small businesses at the rate of two to one. And they are the largest growing segment of employers that have a hundred or more employees. So these are significant size companies. So how do you connect with these markets? You offer access. Because the mass affluent are very comfortable doing their own research and making their own decisions. This is the opportunity to provide them with solid research, with interaction relationships, and tools they can use. Think in terms of your company offering a constant flow of good information, and that's how to get attention. I think the time to stop lecturing and talking at our customers is over. I think nearly all companies don't know really how to talk or relate to this market and others as well. Now this is extremely important. The future of marketing is leadership not yelling at enough people, not talking at people. It's about leading a tribe, which means all of your marketing is about branding you as an industry leader and a trusted confidant. So what will these markets respond to? Relationship, authenticity, 
learning so they can find the perfect answer, follow through, great service, results, and you'll notice that cost isn't even on the list. In marketing to affluence, you are likely communicating with women in somewhat older markets. These markets require us to offer value that they value. Relationship is the top of the list for the good reason, because good relationships are the longest lasting and, of course, they are the most profitable. Your customers will become like raving fans, and we call our best customers fans because fans are more loyal, they buy more, they spend more, they are much more into relationship, they are much more forgiving, and they love to talk about you. The affluence can become your best source of referral business. Okay, here's some brass tactics for connecting now. First, develop your database by looking internally to identify customers who look to be in the affluent category. Now, this may require some outside data matching. Cast a wide net. Don't try to fine-tune the database too much because the response from the marketing will reveal who your best prospects are. But also sub-segment by performing a basic demographic profiling such as 45 plus age women and small business owners in a certain industry. You could do the age and the income, etc. But target each with a unique message that will be relevant to each segment. So start small, fail fast, improve even faster. It's okay to start in a shoestring budget and allow the results to grow your program. The early marketing really is about learning what is working and what these markets really want from you. Now, more specific brass tactics include local branch and advisor communications that are customized to the local markets. You need to train customer-facing personnel to understand how to serve these markets. And you have three secret weapons. Make sure you personalize your direct mail letters and customize them to your local branch advisor network. Webinars offer unique topics of interest, but they also attract large numbers of prospects to what really is a live interactive event. And targeted social media is huge because social groups can be created according to specific areas of interest as well as to the profile of the members. Now we couldn't cover everything in this short clip and there is much more and we can help. We've been serving Fortune 500 clients for over 35 years by developing highly successful multi-channel marketing campaigns that help you pursue your MVP markets. Again, this is Mark Olerich with today's Eye on Opportunity. Let us help you begin capturing your share of this market today. Please contact me at 847-942-7140 or at the email address on this slide. Thank you.